Hello everyone, as my mom said, welcome to another awesome video. So today's video, I want to elaborate on uh, the current exchange rate situation. Uh, we, at the point, saw the rate drop below 1,000 naira, and now it's back up. And I won't be surprised if we might hit 1,200 again. And um, but the reason I'm doing this video is to make you guys understand why it's happening so because cbn and uh, other newspapers will not come out to explain to you with the ordinary people what's really happening but the truth is the cbn does not have enough money to handle the fs requirement of this country and it's supposed to be reflecting on the cba rate which is the official rate but because they are controlling the rate because they don't process all the requests immediately so which means there is no pressure on the official rate because if every bta which is business travel allowance or pta or form a and also form l is being processed if every single dollar that is being requested by business people and people who are traveling or students who are abroad are being processed the H official H trade rate won't be at 700 plus it should be at 800 plus but they say they are unifying the exchange rate which is bull crap to me because there's nothing they are unifying rather they are still protecting the official exchange rate which to me is not the true exchange rate of this con of of the naira the true exchange rate for dollar to naira is the black market rate because it is pure demand and supply why is it pure demand or supply because there is whenever there is scarcity and there is demand the price of the asset tends to go up okay whenever there is oversupply and low demand the price of the asset tends to come down because so many people has dollar and they want to sell and the price comes down now in this situation if the cpn does not have enough money to fund or approve every single fs request what makes you think that black market has all the all the dollar to process the request so which is why the black market rate keeps going up every single time government makes one announcement that they will clear backlog and people have knee-jerk reaction and go and um, sell off due to uh speculation not actually not as if something fundamental was done to do any correction later on it keeps coming back up because demand at ways supply both the supply of black market and both the supply of cbn but rather but instead of them looking at the or saying the truth they keep blaming the middleman they keep blaming usdt which is bull crap to me okay two key decisions that depreciated the naira to this extent was the removal of subsidy and the collapsing of uh, the dollar exchange rate in those trying to make it single unit those are good policies but the execution and the timing was bad number one you don't make such announcement on inauguration day when you have not appointed your minister of finance minister of econo uh, your economics uh, economy minister you've not appointed uh, uh, what's it called your fine uh, your oil uh, what's it called petroleum minister none of that has been done and you're making these announcements that's poor planning that's knee-jerk reaction and now they're doing damage control if proper planning was done we won't be in this situation but now that we're in this situation anything anytime you're seeing the price of goods the price of fuel going up just know that every businessman is working based on the black market rate which to them is the official exchange rate so well, before you shout and say hey these people are killing us are they the one increasing it just know that cbn is part of the problem if they actually want the dollar to naira exchange rate to be to be collapsed they should allow the official exchange rate to they should allow the official official exchange rate to carry enough pressure okay so that it will meet the black market rate and believe you me if it meets the black market rate we will still probably be at 900 or probably at 1000 
are you going to say but now they are controlling it by allowing for backlogs and every time there is backlogs they are hoping to get money from nmpc or and it has to do with oil sale for them to clear such backlog when you know that in such in some situations the price at which the barrel of oil is sometimes changes sometimes it's up sometimes it's low and it's not reliable means so the government has to do something drastic about the economy to ensure that dollar is coming into this country okay that's all i have to say in this video if you have questions or if you have your own opinion you can let me know in the comment section thank you guys for watching bye for now